Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial. The first part of the WW109 fighter plane in Fusion 360. So I need a canvas. So let's go to insert canvas. And that would be from my computer. And that would be that picture, which you can download from my GrabCat account or from blueprints.com and I want to put it on that plane that would be the XY plane. Let's just insert it and then I will edit it. Okay, so let's show the origin. Go to that and make it bigger and I want to use calibrate so from this point here to that point it should be three nine zero 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 millimeter let's zoom and now let's move it so it's centered around this point. Right click edit canvas and now move it accordingly okay zoom in a little bit more like this and then move it up to this position. It doesn't need to be absolutely correct, but nearly so. Okay. Nice. Let's sh go to the origin. And that plane, the XY plane, should be... Can we rename it? Not really, sadly, but that would be my main sketch plane. So I will put one right on this one, on top of that one, and that will be my main sketch plane, because I can rename this one, hopefully. Edit feature. No, that would be the main sketch plane. So in order to make all my section planes I want to use a sketch. So go for a sketch on the main sketch plane. Zoom in. I want to use a rectangle as in the other programs. So start here and go over there. Okay. Let's add some lines. Let's copy this one. Like this. Okay. Another one. Okay. Another one with Control V. OK, Control V. OK, Control V. OK, and maybe now Control C, Control V. So I don't have to move as far. Control V. OK. And another control V. Okay. Another one. And one more. Like that. 
okay now let's zoom in a little bit and maybe first trim zoom in that's not okay so undo try once more zoom in a little bit more then it should be okay seems there are two I can remove one later on that's okay go down Okay, now let's align those a little bit. So that's okay. This should be more to this line like that. That's okay. That's okay as well, I suppose. Let's take a look. Yeah, this one should go a little bit to the right. This one as well. Maybe a little bit to the left. Same here. This one a little bit to the right. And the last one, that's okay. Nice. And some there was a double one where not here. There you go. Let's delete one of these and then finish that sketch. Let's zoom out and let's rename that sketch. And this would be the plane reference sketch. Okay. Now let's create our planes and let's see what kind of planes we can make in fusion so go for construct offset plane tangent plane mid plane three points face point plane along path so let's see plane at angle would be okay yeah let's go for plane at angle so the line would be this one and the angle would be 90 degrees repeat that command with this one and I should rename the planes as well again 90 repeat that command that would be the third one 90 repeat that command D again 90 degrees repeat the command E 90 degrees repeat the command with F 90 degrees repeat the command with G 90 degrees repeat the command with H 90 degrees repeat the command with J again 90 degrees another one with K and 90 degrees repeat with L 90 degrees and the last one with M and again 90 degrees so let's rename them this would be A, B, 
C, D, E, F, J, H, J, K, L, and M. Let's hide those planes and hide that sketch. And I need another plane up there. So that would be one with a distance to the ZX plane. So let's see. Go for construct offset plane to the X set plane to this one. Let's move this up. And there is no visual alignment here, so let's go with a sketch on the, of course, main sketch plane. And I need a line up there like this maybe okay finish that sketch and go for a plane at an angle with that line and it's not visible that's kind of amazing why? Because I've hidden all those. So bring them back. Let's take a look. That should be 90 degrees as well. So that will be sort of a split plane here. Let's rename this one and call it split plane. Just click here split plane I will need some planes for the wings so let's do in the same sketch two more lines just to measure them so go for a line which should be around here another one over there one here and another one there Move it a little bit like this, that's okay. Now add some dimensions. This would be 605. This would be 4255. This will be one for zero, for example, and the last one will be one to twenty. Let's zoom out and maybe delete those because I really don't need them anymore. It's just for the distances finish that sketch and now the wing planes which should be with an offset to the main sketch plane so go for offset plane main sketch plane and the distance would be 
make sure it goes in the right direction that's okay first one would be at 6605 another one at 4255 another one at 140 and another one at 1220 let's rename them So this would be inner wing So why, what's the problem? I want to rename it in win Now it's okay outer wing this would be the inner rudder and that would be the outer rudder okay let's hide those planes And that canvas should be not be selectable. So check it out. Edit canvas and it should not render canvas. There is no option here. Is there an option here? Go for unselectable. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, now for a first sketch. So this should not be visible, that sketch here. Now I need a sketch on the main sketch plane. And let's see if we can go for arcs or we have to use splines. Let's try an arc. Three point arc, yes. Let's start here. And go up there. And adjust it like this. This looks pretty good. That's okay. And I might even put this a little bit down like this. Yeah, that would be okay. Another arc up there. Maybe like that. Okay. looks okay and the third one should be here maybe like this and okay great finish that sketch and let's see if we can extrude those arcs separately so that would be another sketch give it a name Let's call it main body body reference. Let's go for surface extrude. Now with start with that sketch arc in the other direction, so in this direction and let's go for maybe 200 
doesn't really matter and of course it should be minus 200 like this then repeat that command to another extrude bring it back with that sketch again it should be minus 200 and the last one with that arc here again minus 200 and I'm done for this first part hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page it would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the second bar part bye bye